Hello everyone. In this video, we present to you the topic end of study for obtaining a graduation license under the title Design and Production of Online Follower Mobile Robot 2, Implementation of the Zumo Robot Kit. It was worked on by Mjaji Ilham and Mjadi Rauda under supervision Dr. Rudwan Ayad. In this work, we touch on the design of a robot that avoids obstacles. At the same time, we will compare the Zumo kit with a handmade structure. As this robot has the advantage of avoiding obstacles, use distance sensor, Arduino, and other components connected to it. As for its structure, it is easier than Zumo kit physically and practically in terms of installation and study on how it works. At the same time, Zumo Shield is also good, but its price is high. And in the process of installing it, we can face a problem in wilding, where it can be burned at the level of the hand or door wrongly leading to burning component. Then we move on to realizing and simulating the circuit of the obstacle avoider robot. In order to compare the Zumo chassis with that using it, use them the obstacle advising robot, we design and install the Zimu chassis, the complete set constant of the parts shown in the video. Battery box and negative po and positive port. Zimu shield I sorted the positive and negative pins and wires using wear and solder. Zimu structure. Two chains and four wells. DC motor I sorted the wires to the positive and negative port and then inserted the wells. Parts for for more team the chassis and wheels, three infrared sensor, Arduino Inu board, and batteries, and we use here keyboard to connect it. After connecting the piece the pieces, the robot is ready to draw in the code and work. In the end, we were surprised that the robot did not work because of an error in the welding process. Despite flowing all the step mentioned in the installation not notebook, we start to design the circuit of the avoiding obstacle robot. So we need three ultrasonic sensors left, front, and right, two DC motor, right motor, and left motor, motor driver shield. So we used here L293D motor driver, Arduino Inu, and breadboard, and we need the cable to connect it. This is all the material, so we turn to explain the code. In this part, we start by defining variables and constant. We use the anti command to define the integer and long to define the real number. We define the word direction in order to calculate the time wave length, length and distance to facilitate the process of calculating the distance using sensor. We also use constant to define the constant both left and right motor. In the void step part, we define the input and output using the pin mode command. So all motor and trick pin output equal pin input. We move the to the void loop. We start by writing a code to operate the sensor. So we use the law of calculating the distance where we multiply the time of the wave wavers written by the speed of length define the result by two and we get the distance we start writing the condition for the robot uh, to work we have six condition that we will explain in the simulation part here we have the serial monitor when we uh, see the result we start the simulation process. We take a safety distance of 20. First condition, when the three sensors greater than 20, we noted the robot move forward. So we read in the serial monitor loading forward. Now we change the distance of the right sensor 
to make it less than 20. We observe the robot move left bend and read in the serial monitor left bend. The same when I change the distance of the left motor, so the robot moves right bend and write in the monitor serial right bend. So we change all the distance of the three sensor to make it less than 20. We see the robot move in backward and in the serial monitor uh, we read drive, driving back. Now we change the distance of the right sensor. To make it greater than 20, we observe the robot turn right. We read in the serial monitor right rotation. Last one, we change the distance to the left sensor to make it greater than 20. We notice the robot turn left and we read left rotation. That is all the steps in the simulation so thank you for watching now we come to uploading the simulation in your reality we start design where we need the tour shown in the video at the first step we install the chassis of the world car and the motor install we need three ultrasonic sensor of distance and Arduino Inu breadboard and motor driver shell to a uh, motor driver shell do we install the equipment step by step so that we install the pieces on the chassis using double side advising shape and then we connect it between the PS using connected wires as listing in the code and here we finish the general design of the robot. We, we install the USB cable. We upload in the code of, uh, to the Arduino board. The robot ready for testing. Finally, we install a, a 12 volt battery. The result is shown in the video. From here we can say that the difference is very clear and according to our work and our opinion we say that the handmade structure is more practical than the Zimu kit because of one mistake in wilding the part that led to the robot not working. In the end we thank you for listening and following up and we hope that we were able to be in your good fit as we progress. A special thanks on our supervisor Dr. Hayad for his guidance and structure and thank you for watching.